Okay, so it has nothing to do with this movie, but I did just buy this, and clearly, I'm obsessed with Baby Yoda, but he's just the cutest. What is up, Disney Plus fans? Welcome back to my channel. Today, we're talking another Disney Plus original movie in the one and only I have, and I want to thank Disney for sending me this screener. Hopefully, this movie's better than the previous two, Artemis Fowl and Magic Camp. I need you in the comments down below. Are you looking forward to this movie coming out on Friday? Let's get into it. So a gorilla named Ivan tries to piece together his past with the help of an elephant named Stella as they hatch a plan to escape from captivity. So yeah, this film stars Brian Cranston in the live action roles, a really stacked cast when you look at the voices, Sam Rockwell as Ivan, you have Angelina Jolie in this film, I mean, my goodness, so they brought together pretty much everyone they could find, and I was interested. One, because we, we've already seen two Disney Plus movies this year, Artemis Fowl, which was... Eek. And then Magic Camp, which was still honestly better than I expected it to be, but I still wouldn't classify it as a good movie. Is the one and only Ivan better than these two outings? I think it is. I was genuinely surprised that this worked maybe as well as it did, even though it never quite hit the levels that I believe it was trying to hit. I will say this, though. It's a deeper film than what you're expecting. This is a very emotional story, and it's hitting on real-world themes, even though it is a very fantasy-like film, because obviously, the animals are talking. So, we approach it through the perspective of what they're saying, their conversations, and a new, interesting character that comes into play here, and I won't ruin who that is specifically and what their plan as a whole is, but I really like the concept of this film. So since I was a bit surprised here, I'll start a bit more on the negative side and talk about how the film feels extremely formulaic. And I mean that in both the Disney sense and then the fact that you just, you kind of know how it's going to end up. And not that the movie is meant to uh, blow your mind in terms of this script. Oh, they're going to do something revolutionary here in the one and only Ivan. No, but it does go pretty much exactly the way that you anticipate. And that, for me, was a bit of a bummer, especially when you see what this story is actually about. Ivan, Bob, Stella, feeling as if there's a bit more to life than what they're going through. And not that Brian Cranston's character is the worst human being, and I like that, too. They didn't make him all this obnoxious, overwhelming, just the worst owner of all of these animals. No, he has just as much of a heart as a lot of these characters, but he's overwhelmed and stressed out because uh, people just aren't showing up like they used to. And he needs something big. He needs something crazy to bring in and change up the formula. Uh, and that was interesting enough, right? But about halfway through the movie, I was still, I was kind of looking around thinking, all right, this is good. And there are some emotional elements within here, one scene in particular that will get you about halfway through the movie. Uh, but I didn't really know, and this is going to sound bad, what the point of it all was, if that makes sense. And then you kind of discover that, you figure it out, and you say, oh, okay, well, I know where it's going, but at least now we have an end goal in mind. And I'll say this as well, it does kind of rush through it. Uh, there are certain montage-esque sequences where a bunch of things happen, and they kind of skip through it. It's almost as if, and I'm glad it wasn't, uh, but it's almost as if the movie or the plot for the film required the movie to be longer, but they needed to shorten things up. I personally wish they would have shortened up the first half of the film and given more time to breathe with what we got in the second half, but it was the opposite, vice versa. And again, I'm fine with that because we got some uh, some time to build with these characters. We got some moments with Ivan. And again, I really like the character of Bob, voiced by Danny DeVito. He's, he's the scruffly dog and he's cute, but in terms of where it goes, predictable or not, I can't believe they did some of the things that they did in this kids movie, because that's what it is. It's a movie centered around that fan base, and audiences, uh, adults will watch it, right, with their children. Families will watch this movie together, and I think for that purpose, for what it's intending on doing, I think it's the perfect movie for families. This is, in my book, even though Again, it's not the best movie I've ever seen, but it is a win for Disney Plus because they have a family-centric film here that goes a bit deeper, goes a bit beyond that, and has these touching, I mean really touching, and emotional moments within there that work extremely 
well. And yes, we have the cliched flashback scenes, and there's like one fart joke and moments where we're exploring their past, and it's like, okay, this is a bit cliche, but again, beyond that, and I, I don't want to get into specifics why? But I read this premise at the beginning, it's all about hatching a plan to escape captivity and then discovering that you are meant for even more than what you thought your purpose was. That's awesome. That really is awesome, and I could not believe they hit on that. It even feels like, uh, kind of like what Dumbo the animated movie gave us combined with something a bit deeper there, and I just, I couldn't believe that this wasn't this wacky, over-the-top, zany movie with Brian Cranston and a gorilla. Again, you could see that and be like, oh, this looks ridiculous, but no, I really do think the family-centric aspect of this movie is going to win a lot of people over, even though it never goes beyond that. So yeah, guys, the overall storyline, it's much more mature than expected. Part of me does wish this was a full-on animated movie because we do have some lackluster CGI mixed with the human elements, and at times it doesn't maybe look the best. I see why they did it this way, but I feel like an animated feature would have given us the ability to go a bit more over the top without feeling over the top, if that makes sense, keeping these adult-centric themes like what we see in modern Disney and Pixar films but I think kids will grow up loving this film, even though others may find it a bit too formulaic. My score is a 6 out of 10, a 60% for the one and only Ivan. I liked this more than expected, and it will be a nice movie for families to check out if there is something you need to watch on Disney+. Plus this may be the film. All right, guys, a lot more reviews coming this week. So much stuff on Netflix from Lucifer to the, the sleepover. Is that what it's called? Something like that. Regardless, I need you in the comments down below. Are you tuning in Friday morning for the one and only Ivan? I'll see you later.